Hey everybody, welcome to the world of Rebel Galaxy. If you're wondering what Rebel Galaxy is all about, just take a look at what's going on over here in the background. That'll give you a pretty good idea. It is an open world space adventure action RPG. There's a lot happening in this game. I'm really excited to be bringing it off over here and showing it off, number one. This is the preview build. The game itself is still not complete. It is going to be available for the PS4, Xbox One after the PC release itself. You could do a lot of space bounties, you could do mining, you could do trading. Basically, there's a lot for you to do in this game. So, all that said and done, let's actually get into it and show you how the mechanics over here play out. There's a little bit of a cutscene over here to kind of introduce the story for you, so after that takes place, I will cut back in and we'll start doing a little space adventure over here. Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. Alright, this guy's over here talking in some sort of alien tongue, so I'll go ahead and just kind of read what he's saying over there. There's humans too, so there's going to be definitely a lot of um, voice acting in the game. Ah, there you are. Your aunt asked me to keep an eye out for you. I see you found her old ship. Bring it into the dock and meet me at the bar. I have something for you. So we have a few things over here we could ask this individual. Let's find out who he is, number one. Where are my manners? I'm Orzu, an old friend of your aunt's. Or aunt. I'm not sure. People say aunt. Some other people say aunt. I say aunt personally, but that's just my own discretion here. Back in my younger, wilder days. Now I own the bar here, and life is quieter. I see. Well, I guess I'll see you at the dock, my friend. Cool. Alright, welcome to Rebel Galaxy. First, you're going to want to get comfortable. Yeah, there's going to be some tutorialized stuff. I kind of already went over here. The game supports um, keyboard and mouse pad. I know it's important to some, of you, uh, some people, so keep that in mind. It does support it. It's kind of recommended for you to use either a gamepad, though, or maybe even a flight stick, according to developers. But, you know, you could kind of go whichever way you feel more comfortable with. Right now, we're heading over to the Rust City itself to kind of meet up with this individual. We could speed up over here. We could actually engage the warp speed, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But since we're kind of nearby, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Warp speed is going to be really important for you to actually travel to other places unless you want to be out in space for quite a while over here traveling. So we're about to head up over here, we're going to dock in Rust City itself and see what this individual has to say for us over here. So we're going to meet Orsu number one. Aha! My, you're the spitting image of Juno. So good to see you. So where is my aunt? She was supposed she was supposed to meet me here. To be honest, I don't know. I've seen her in nearly, I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Why do you say that? Because she gave me something to give you on her behalf. Why would she have done so if she was expecting to be present? Well, what is it? Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. That may be. She called it a specter, although I doubt that it's proper his name. Juno mentioned that it's some sort of AI symbiote, whatever that means. Can I see it? Here you go. Now that's it right there, huh? Just hand it over, buddy. That's fine. As to your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to find her. That's the Rasputin part in the hangar, isn't it? I hate to say it, but times have changed since that was a worthy ship. What do you mean? Well, you've got no deflector, no tractor beam, the whole planning is like paper, and to be frank, your weapon systems are particularly pop guns. No offense. Well, any suggestions that you have to give me? I can get you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off to your inevitable doom. I can't afford to let it go for nothing, though. I've got a little something for uh, you could help me with an exchange. What, uh, what are you suggesting over here, my... Alien friend. I've got a shipment of Griot whiskey coming in. My supplier, however, seems to have gotten himself into hot water and come can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment, and if you can make the exchange, I'll make something for you when you return. Alrighty, well, it sounds fishy, but regardless of which, he's gonna hook me up with some equipment over here, so I can't really, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth over here. Excellent, here's 500 credits for the payoff and the coordinates where you'll meet. His name is Branson Cole, and he should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back, we'll get you squared away, and I'll have some more information as well. Alrighty, so now we have a little bit of money over here. Here you could check out the news board, it'll tell you what's happening in the galaxy itself. You could also hire a mercenary, which I actually recommend you do early as possible. A mercenary will actually help you out in combat and in battle on your missions and everything like that. I think it's a one-time fee, and 
if they do unfortunately meet their inevitable doom, you can actually go to other cities and hire other mercenaries. Right now, I think the only one available is this dude over here at the bar. We will actually be hiring him pretty soon, but for now, we don't have the credits to actually hire him, so let's leave the bar. And we are actually going to go underway right now and actually do our very first mission over here, which is kind of like more of a fetch quest to kind of teach you the controls and whatnot. So, right now, if you look at our map over here, we can do some precision aiming. We're not going to aim at anything over here in Rest City because that would be pretty terrible for us. What is that over there? That is a wrecked ship. Now, there's a few things you could do right now. You could actually just go there straight up, or what I like to do as well is actually scan stuff around to kind of give you an idea as to what's happening over here. Here you can lock into targets, scan targets, etc, etc. For instance, if I wanted to scan that, I could zoom out over here and it'll tell me what it's all about. A turret, D, let's see, where is the one, the command, here we go. Pulse over here will actually let you map what's going on around you. If there's any sort of loot that's been left over from a fight, if there's any sort of danger, if there's any sort of anything around you, you could actually check with Pulse and it'll actually show up in the map. As you can see right here, we have a few detected valuables right now. Now, I don't believe I could pick those up, but listen, let me, let me give it a try because I do know that we are missing the tractor beam, which is what we need to actually bring items aboard, which is one of the things that we could actually acquire from the dude that we were just talking to right now. So let's actually speed up over here. Even though it doesn't seem like it's too far away, it kind of is, so I might actually have to go into warp speed over here. But let me do a pull some more time to find out where those are at. 13, 13, and 24, huh? So right now we're traveling around this speed, we're going to probably have to go engage warp speed over here because even though things do seem kind of close by, warp will actually let you get relatively close as you can see over here. Now, there's a cargo container over here. I'm going to find out if I can actually pick it up, but if I can, we'll have to come back to it. So, oh yeah, we can. Perfect. So right there, we actually picked up that cargo. There's a danger over here coming along. We have to kind of avoid that. So we picked that up, which is good. Good startup point over here. What this is going to do is we're going to be able to actually sell this back in the city, or any other city itself, and actually get some credits for it over here. So we're going to also pick this one up over here. What do we have here? We have some more Yik Yak meat and intellectual property. There is a warning because we're about to crash into that. The game will warn you about things like that, so keep that in mind. Let's do one more pulse because I do believe there was one more, right? Yeah. So let me go ahead and engage Warp Seed here one more time, and we will pick this up and we'll head over to our mission over here. Uh, stellar Mass. This is going to be that right there, huh? Damn, that got, got wrecked. Dude, he got wrecked, my friend. Alrighty, where is the valley boat? There's the container right here. We're, I don't think we have to go into warp speed for this one. We're almost just about there. I will speed it up over here. What I'm doing right now is using my boosters. You want to keep an eye on those. You don't want to necessarily um, burn them out because even though they're going to recharge back up, if you're looking for a quick escape or something, you don't want those to be burnt out completely. Alrighty, so now that we're done over here, we are going to engage warp speed, there we go. And we're going to head over to the very first mission over here, which is kind of a fetch quest in a sense, so keep that in mind. Now at this point, you are basically free to roam. What you're doing right here is actually just warp speeding over to this area, number one. You will actually break warp speed if you're something in your path, if there's enemies and things of that nature, so keep an eye out for that. Right now, since we're just heading over here, we have a Dest Distress Beacon over here as well. <laughs> Let's actually exit warp speed here for a second. That is, um, nope. Don't want anything to do with that? That is actually a pirate. I believe it's a pirate anyway. Let me go ahead and just um, pulse it up over here. Damn, they're tearing me up. Yep. Oh, don't tell me that's the dude I was looking for. No, I think Detective Friendly is the one we're headed to right now. So yeah, let's go and engage Warp Speed again. There was some pirates over there fighting it out. We could have gotten involved with that and actually probably win some friendly points with somebody, but... I'm not really looking to do that right now because we are obviously not really fit for combat right now. Unfortunately, we can do the Engage War Speed because we are running into some stellar mass over here. So, for now, yep, I know about pulse scanning. Don't worry, game. I got under control over here. This is where we're headed to right now, Branson Cole. So once we're around here, we can essentially just um, check out his incoming hail. Hey there. Hey there, Osu sent you. You got my payment? Sure did, buddy. Here's 500 for you. Pleasure to do business with you. Thank you. Alrighty. So, we have that. Now... We are ready to kind of head back over here and get our very first piece of equipment for our ship over here to kind of improve our odds of survival. Let's do some pulsing around, make sure there's nothing around here. Nope. Alrighty, so now we're going to go back over here and deliver the whiskey really quickly. So as soon as my warp speed kicks in over here, which there it is, we will head back right now. Remember, we're going to avoid any sort of combat right now because we're not actually fit for it. Although it does seem that... Oh, come on, pirates! Yeah. The threat levels are something you should really pay attention to. The game will be really um, vigilant telling you, like, hey, you have a chance right now, or hey, you don't have a chance, you might want to kind of skedaddle on out of here. So that's exactly what I'm hoping to do. 
Those pirates over there engaging with that, I guess, either Colonial or some sort of, you know, space police over there. But I don't want to get involved with that one just yet. At least not until we get some proper equipment here. So we're going to deliver the whiskey right now, and we'll get our first piece of equipment. I usually like to go with the tractor beam, but you know what? We might go with the deflector. The deflector actually keeps you from taking combat or damage to your um, overall hull. It's kind of like a cooldown type of effect, which I will show off over here really quickly. Let's speed it up here a little bit. Not entirely sure why it got me out of warp speed this early on. Come on. Warp speed again, my friend. There we go. And there we go. Alrighty, so. Come back over here. Yeah, yeah, I know about the collision. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ram into the fucking city. I'm not an idiot. Might sound like one, but I'm really not. Let's dock over here. Alrighty, so. For doing the whiskey, we got 4,480 credits to kind of mess around with over here. So we could go back to the bar and hire the mercenary, which we will. So let's do that really quickly over here. Hire mercenary. Name's Garrus. I hear you're looking for someone who can fly. That the case? Yeah, uh, you heard correctly, my friend. So, um, you look capable, you're hired. I can mess around over here, shoot the shit with him. But honestly, old or not, this guy is a baller, at least early on. So keep that in mind. You look capable, you're hired. I'll be working with you. Alrighty, so now whenever we leave the station itself, he will actually be kind of shadowing us and helping us out in combat, so keep that in mind. Let's go over here and speak to Orzu now. Excellent, many thanks for your help. I've got two options for you here, a deflector and a tractor beam. Deflectors are an excellent defense in combat, and of course you need a tractor to bring objects into the Rasputin's hold. I will take the tractor beam, because I think the tractor beam actually costs more to buy yourself than the deflector, so we could actually buy the deflector afterwards. So, I'll buy that. A fine choice. I'll have my men transfer it to the Rasputin right away. So, how about my aunt? Yes, of course. But I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor, given how deftly you handle the exchange. Well, tell me about it, I suppose. It's a simple matter. I have some items at a remote storage location, and given their contents, it would be best if they weren't discovered by any interested parties. I need to be disposed uh, they need to be disposed of at no real risk to you. Alright, I guess I could do that. So what this one here is is essentially teaching you how to do combat itself, so keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna leave the bar here really quickly. We have the mercenary hired. Let's go into the ba -ba 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 equipment bay over here. We have a little bit of money left over. Let's see if we could actually afford anything. Preferably like a better weapon or maybe even that deflector. Let's go to the fence over here, deflector, how much would you cost me? We could buy one for just about all of our credits right now. Mm. You know what? Eesh. Sure, why not? Let's buy the deflector, install the component, go right ahead. So we'll have the deflector now to kind of give us a little bit of um, defense in battle. Now, the other thing we want to do is well, remember, we picked up some cargo out there about in space, right? So let's go to the commodities market, and here you could sell whatever you have. Now mind you, you could kind of t pay attention as to the ceramics over here, as to where you could get a better price for your item. I really don't care right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell the advanced ceramics right now, so let's go ahead and sell that one. Ooh, intellectual property gives you a lot of money, so that's pretty good right there. We'll sell the mead. Ooh, and the gold bars, good money. Alrighty, so we're up to 5,500 already just from picking up scrap that we found in space, so that works out pretty good. Alrighty, but right now we want to save a little bit of credits right now, and let's go and do this other mission that kind of teaches how to quote-unquote shoot and whatnot. So, for now, let's just speed up here. We're not going to dock. We want to go over to the next mission over here. Yeah, I, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware about the boosters, and I did it. Which is something I said not to do. Alrighty, come on. Give me the warp speed already, man. No, I don't care about that weapons platform right there. I don't want to fight it. Ready when you are. Garrus, he's actually hanging on the back. So in that map over here, you'll see Garrus is at yellow dot. So keep that in mind. Alright, so we're exiting the area. So we should be able to go into warp speed pretty soon. At some point. Come on, warp speed. I ain't got all day over here. I ain't got all day. There we go. Alrighty. So this will be the cleanup operation. Over here, we'd pretty much be doing some shooting of the cargo that he wants us to get rid of for him. Um, occasionally, you do get attacked over here, too. Which is what the game is teaching you about, you know, either facing combat or sometimes it's better to just flee. With Garrus, we might actually have a chance, but I'll give it a try. But if I see things are a little bit too sticky, we'll probably just get the hell out of here as soon as possible. Because I'm not going to risk it and die in the very first episode. That'd be kind of foolish, right? Orzu's container's right here. Which is indicated by his, because that's Orzu's container, Falcon. Alrighty, so, let's go back into this one more time. Broadside combat. So, as you can see, we're doing some damage now. Now, that right there is the broadside, which is essentially your best... Oh, no, 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 no! Sorry, I'm drunk at the wheel again. What can I say? 
Alrighty, so we took one of we took care of one of them. Let's go over here and do a pulse to kind of give us an idea as to where the other ones are at. There's quite a few over here to kind of deal with. Proximity alert, thank you. Up, oh, up. Oh. No, Dad, what the fuck was that? Look at some. Oh, those are mines. I didn't see that before, so there is a little bit of a procedurally generated stuff in this game as well. <laughs> oh, that could have been terrifying. Let's actually check out our turrets as well here to give you an idea as to the weaponry that we have. I'd prefer it if you just locked down over here. Alrighty, now the turrets themselves are a bit weaker, but they're also a little bit better in terms of uh, locking onto targets over here. They just don't have enough range as opposed to the broadside, so keep that in mind. Right now, we can't really shoot that. If we go into broadside, however, let's we'll switch back over to our broadside weaponry. We're still out of range, huh? I would like to beg to question that one, but okay. Let's see about just zooming up around here. Speed up a little bit here to get close to it. Garrus, where are you at? Are you helping me out this rookie stuff, um, canisters, Garrus? Come on, dog. What am I paying you for? Stare at my backside over here, watch me crash into fucking derelict space stations? Believe me, I could do that myself, buddy. Alrighty, so that one is down. And that's about it. I think that's all we had to do over here, right? So we have a little bit of a threat level now, which means that... Oh, we have some more cargoes, though. You know what? Before we get out of here. Let's do another pulse, give me an idea as to where the rest of these are. Make sure to avoid the Mines Falcon, but we have some pirates coming afoot really soon. Yep. Yeah, I know about the turret combat as well, kind of. <laughs> Not too well, but for the most part, I kind of do. I got to get used to the whole um, using the gamepad over here. All right, so we picked that up right now. There are some pirates. There they go. Don't want to stick. Oh, Garrus, don't go fight them, Garrus. Do not go fight those guys right now. Or maybe, you know what? Let's actually end this episode with a little bit of a fight here. So your turrets will automatically shoot at targets. But again, your turrets are not strong. You want your broadsides to be doing some of your combat over here. But as you can see, we're doing some damage over here. We do have the deflectors, right? Oh no, we don't have the deflectors. I remember I got the tractor beam instead. So we gotta be careful about our health over here. Our health is actually indicated by that blue bar that you're seeing over here blinking, which means um, I'm doing pretty terrible right now. Again, remember, our weapons are not really suited for combat. That is what Orsu told us, and it shows, because we are barely doing any damage at all. Let's see about... Well, Garrus is over there doing a pretty good job on that double jack fighter. But our turrets are doing some pretty good job as well. There you go. This guy over here is the one that worries me, though. Let's see about doing some more broadside cannon damage over here. We landed a few shots here. He does have shield, so we we got to keep that into consideration as well. He's out of range now. Let's see about getting closer to this target now. Alrighty. Let's check out our turrets. See if they would give us a better chance here. Alrighty. Turrets are not really as accurate, but the lock-on feature is pretty good. Remember, they can overheat too, which is indicated by that bar over here on the lower right corner as well. Alrighty. Come on. Come on. Doing damage still. Doing damage. About to overheat here pretty soon. Alright, let's see about switching over to the broadsides one more time. We've taken out just about that small dude. The big guy is the one that's really worrying me right now. Let's zoom in here pretty quickly. Alright, Garrus, do your job over there, buddy. Alright, boosters are done. Alrighty. Some of his health is actually going down now, which is also indicated by his own personal bar right there. One of the other ones is down. We're not looking too good over here. We need to kind of book it here. Garrus, give me some backup. All right, this guy's out of range one more time. But Garrus over here took down the shield, so he should be going down pretty soon. All right, Garrus, don't worry. I'm going to set this one out. This is all your battle, my friend. Yeah! Good job. Mission complete. Again, you could have escaped this battle, but you could also fight it as well. Assuming you have Garrus, it's probably a good, do, uh, good thing to actually fight it out. Let's see about doing a pulse here and seeing if there's any sort of leftovers, and there definitely are leftovers over here from the cargo from this guy. So let's see what this dude had on him. And again, this is more stuff for us to sell and actually buy some better equipment, because right now we're not looking too good here. Uh, salvage container, we got uh, more yik-yak meat. Yakety yak don't talk back. Alrighty, so at this point, we have to go back to the station and dump off over wherever we did right now. So I'll pretty much do this off camera. We will tune back in for episode number two when we're over there. We'll probably do some equipment purchasing because we are kind of really underleveled in terms of our actual firepower. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. If you want to find out more about Rebel Galaxy, look at the description below. I'll have a few links over there you can kind of check out and look for the game for yourself. Other than that, thank you for watching. I will catch you next time.